Hi guys, I'm doing something that I just normally never do. I'm going to narrate this one, and the reason I'm doing it today is the fans and the heater is not blowing in the greenhouse. Normally they blow so loud, the only thing you can hear is the fans. So since they're not blowing, I thought I would try to talk over it just a little bit and you get to hear my wonderful southern drawl. So as you see we're going down and, and all of the small orchids they're looking really really good. Uh, I've got one hanging here and, and all of the ones on mounts are really looking wonderful. As you can see this joker has put off roots and he is hanging on for dear life uh, so they, they really love it. Got another one right here, same thing, you know, it's growing, grabbing on, and I, I guess it's because they're on a swing, they're hanging on. Okay, we'll come on down, and you see I have a spider plant you know, on this mount, and this one must really love it because this baby has, well, this lady has put off babies, and there's one of them, and she's got a second one, and we got more back here. These things are just going crazy they're i guess they're trying to get out of the greenhouse because they're putting off you know babies and walkers and and they're going to do something okay we'll come over to the mount wall and you can see that all of these they're, they're going crazy i mean orchids love these mounts you know the roots are going big growing big you know growing new spikes and limbs we got a little bitty spike right there if you can see it yeah right there it is and uh, this one, you know, just a wonderful spike coming in. I don't know if you see it good because of the, the light on the background. Uh, this dendrobium is growing up and down and sideways, and it's going everywhere. Just look at the roots on this one. So orchids love the wooden mounts. Okay, this one I'm very proud of. I got this fella, yeah, this fowl right here is on a mount. And look at this, this spike. Good gracious, look at that thing. That joker is huge. The spike on it must be 24, 28 inches you know, coming out. And and it's it's just it's one of the biggest ones that I have had. Okay, then we come on over here to the middle table and I have more that's in bloom. Yeah, there's there's one right there, and we'll get over to the side in just a minute. But Oh, I forgot the bottom table over here. So I've got to swing back. And you can see the the bigger cats and and dogs and everything else. You know, they're they're just they're loving all of this. The the greenhouse is doing great. Yeah, even in the cold weather, you know, we're still running at about anywhere between sixty-eight and seventy-two degrees. You know, the, the heat is, is working just perfectly. Uh, if I can afford the propane, I mean, that's a killer. I just checked my tank last night, and I'm down to 40% on one tank and 75% on the second tank. And will I, when I fill those two tanks up, it costs me about $600. So I'm, I'm looking at having to fill those up before the end of, well, probably by the end of, of uh, January. And uh, maybe, maybe, if I'm lucky, yeah, that will be enough to get me through the rest of the cold weather. I'm not sure. But as you can see, you know, we come on down and the uh, the dendrobiums are do doing really good. I'm back to this one that was in bloom I showed you just a moment ago. And we go across the top table. And, oh, there's a, a spider plant that I just planted in a pot. And you can see it's loving it. You know, it's got the babies coming off of it. Right there's one. And come on over, and another one right there that I just repotted, and a third one. And goodness, I can't even see in there. We got so many right now. And this this thing has got babies galore. And we keep coming across here, and we've got the wondering plant. I just wonder where it's going to end up. And I love this one right here. Now I've put it on a huge wood mount, and it is it's just loving it it's going crazy i mean i, I just I, I may give this one to someone someone may be the lucky winner or not a winner but just the uh 
the, the lucky person that I decide to give it to. I've got some here and one more spider plant that I replanted. Okay, so I'm gonna make a quick zip to the other side. Don't, don't wanna make you dizzy, but okay. So on the other side, I've got some bromelage, you know, uh, rooting. I uh, got some in a pot there. I got a caladium. This caladium refuses to give up. As long as it stays warm in the greenhouse, this joker just keeps putting off. Okay, come in here, and I don't know how many I got in spike. Uh, down the table, there must be about 20, 20 or so you know, that have anywhere from a, a one inch spike to a 30 inch spike, you know, so they are going crazy also in the greenhouse. Okay, right here, I have a rabbit's foot fern. I've had this probably longer than any plant that I own. It's, it's going on about uh, six, maybe seven years old. And you can see the feet of it is, has, has just grown into a mass. Okay, and see if I can sneak under here and give you a peek. I just got too many things hanging here in the greenhouse. Okay, we got the staghorn ferns. Uh, some of these are going to be mounted, you know, on uh, some type of mount, you know, very soon, you know, because they're, they're almost to the point that they're outgrowing these pots. Yeah, you know, I got several of them, so I'm going to, I'm going to do something, you know, we'll put something on the, on a mount, see how they look. Uh, got, got some, uh, what have I got here? I'm not even sure what I have here. I think these came out of the house. The, these were my wife's and they're no longer in bloom. So they come to the greenhouse and, and we'll do something with them. And back down on this side, you can see there's a half a dozen that's already in bloom, you know, but again, about 20 of them in spike. And I swing around to this side and we see the Vandas. I've got, uh, I got one in bloom right there. Most of the Vandas are not in bloom. They're resting and they're gonna explode soon. Got one back there. Maybe, maybe two or three that's still in bloom. And as you can see, there's, it just goes on and on. And I got, I don't know how many I got in here. There's probably uh, 300 or so Vandas of various size. Most of these are, are the larger Vandas. You know, they're, they're ready to, to ship out anytime someone wants a nice Vanda. You know, we got them right here. Okay, and kind of over on the end here, more spider plants that are going crazy. So I've still got some of those. And I have some cactus. These cactus must be six or seven years old. You know, they're, they're just leftovers. Down on the bottom here, which nobody ever sees, I have hosta in the back, you know, all the way to the end. And at the very end, I have a large hosta. It's a super-sized hosta. Here in the front, I have the Lyrope. Some people call it monkey grass. This is not really monkey grass. This is the Lyrope. So we got a lot of that that I brought into the greenhouse. Okay, today you're gonna see something that no one's seen before. You're gonna see inside my baby greenhouse. Yeah, this is a small greenhouse. Yeah, over here is my large greenhouse. You can see it's it's kind of covered with a shade cloth. You can't really see anything. Yeah, but that, that's the large greenhouse. And right here is my baby greenhouse, and I'm going to let you see what I keep in here. Okay, as we go in, I keep small vandas in here. Got a few cats up here, you know, not, not many. Yeah, maybe 25 or 30 or so up here at the top. And gosh, lo and behold, got more spider plants back there. And, and they're putting off babies also. But the purpose of this greenhouse is small vandas. So as you can see, row after row, up and down, three and four deep, vanda after vanda after vanda. Just, just, I got one or two in here. Okay, that's on that side. And then on this side, you know, we got just as many up and down, sideways, three, four deep, three high. So you can see there, there's a couple of Vandas in here. So I have the capacity to, uh, to have uh, about 300 Vandas in here. And, and I've got about 
220, maybe maybe 230 in here right now, so I can squeeze a few more. Uh, and th this, even though it's a baby greenhouse, it is fully automated. You know, we got the, the ventilation at the back. Of course, we don't need that right now because today it's uh, 38 degrees. And uh, tomorrow, just like everyone else, we're going to get that, that uh, deep freeze. So it's going to be down to about 12 degrees uh, for the next three days. But, uh, yeah, I've got, I use electric heat in here. Yeah, I got two electric heaters. And between the two of them, it keeps it a toasty 78 degrees. It, it does not vary much. It may go down to 74 but uh, then it will come right back to about 77, 78 degrees. It just stays that, you know, all the time. Uh, again, this is a fully automated greenhouse. You know, it's, it's got the, uh, the water, you know, so it's uh, uh, anytime I need to water them, I just turn it on and the whole thing in here. I mean, it's, it's just a spring shower, you know, from top to bottom, side to side. Uh, I didn't say anything about the large greenhouse uh, on, the, on the heat. Uh, I won't bother to show it to you, but it's fully automated. It has a 60,000 BTU furnace in it. Uh, most people don't even have that much in their house, but a uh, 60,000 BTU furnace uh, keeps it, uh, at, at the coldest temperatures, uh, it'll keep it at 67, 68 degrees, uh, and it'll run it up to about 72, 73. Uh, in, in addition to the furnace, uh, I have uh, two ventilation fans. One blowing north, one blowing south, and so it's it's a constant ventilation uh, of the, the warm air. So every, everything is automated in there. Okay, folks, you have seen what I've got to offer. You've got to listen to me, which I know that was just a wonderful thing. And uh, if you have any comments on this one, hey, put it at the bottom. And I hope you enjoyed it. And who knows, you may get to hear my voice once again because I enjoyed this. It, it was nice. So I hope you enjoy it also.